Okay, so I'm talking to everybody. We're here. Uh, Justin is upstairs acting, so he's going to be a few minutes. I'm showing you the the monitor that um, this is live, what's going on in the set we're in. And so while I was waiting for Justin, I got a bunch of people here that are going to tell you what they do and uh, and who they are. So here we go on the spot. There, pull your mask out, you can tell us. What's your name? What do you oh, do? Camera. And so how did you get into this business? Well, I worked in salons and then I moved to Europe for a couple of months and I've done an independent film there in love with film. And here oh. I am now in Newfoundland. <laughs> okay. okay. Who is this? Hi, I'm Sarah, part of the makeup department. <laughs> and what do you do? What do you do right now? I'm watching her. Make sure you look great. And who we got over here? Hi, I'm Heather in the costume department. What do you do in costumes? Come on. Um, okay, so I'm the on set costume supervisor. So once the actors come to set, my job is to take care of their costumes right. and maintain the continuity, make sure they're wearing the right thing, keep them warm and dry, um, fix something if something goes wrong with the costume, put microphones in the costume, and hold coats. And where are you from and how'd you get into this? I'm from St. John's and I got into this because, um, well, basically my aunt was costume designer and she made me be one. Wow, that's awesome. I'm going to see who's over here as we walk around. These are people kind of um, hanging about. Let's see what's happening up here. Are we rolling right now? Yes, okay, we are. Okay, this is Sherry, who's our dog master. Okay. There is Justin, he's working right now. <laughs> it's going good. And uh, Sherry, you're all set? Yes, sir. Okay. 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 And uh, Vic? So where is Diesel right now, guys? Okay. okay. What are you doing, man? What are you doing? Are you keeping things in focus? Okay. Um, Paul? Paul, can you hear me? Yes. Um, is that a real house where they're shooting? Oh, what's up? I'm not going to disturb. <laughs> Are we still rolling? Still rolling? Yes. Nice. Not going in as far. Right? What? I'm not going as far on that one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good. It'll end up being a two shot for yeah. but it's And thank you. Say hello. Hello. Is there a sound recordist? There's him and Marco over at the thing. Here's our director, John Batcher. Hey, everybody. John, did we cut? We did cut. We did cut. I was stuck in the room. My apologies. All right. Well, great away, guys. Thank you. I do. I really do. Uh, same. Well, we got a blank. Let's go. Make it happen. Yeah. He's the assistant director. He's kind of the. God, see what you got to put up with? Is that better? I don't know. No, no, the other okay. way was better. He's in charge of kind of the floor, but he's in charge of the creative, the director. And these are camera guys here. 
Right, please. Rolling, spring, and action. Yes, Kelsey, that's awesome. Okay. Hey, this is Justin. Paul, and, can you flip uh, your phone? Um, we're ready for, ready for uh, waiting for a question for him. Okay, just hold the phone towards you. Here? Okay. I'll let find out what's going on. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Hang on. Let me go to let me go to a quieter spot here. Yeah. Well. <laughs> oh. Hi, Justin. This is a little makeshift uh, situation here. How's everyone doing? We're doing great. Can you flip the phone so we can see yep. you? Flip, you flip the phone. Oh, blocking the blocking, blocking, and then oh. you got a big. Uh, okay. He's going to do a blocking before every scene, before the rehearsal. We do a, okay, a kind of I blocking get, um, thing, so we'll see that. Oh, we're doing blocking. Yes. Yeah. Are. Okay. This is a new scene that's starting. It is. Okay. Um, yeah. Tell back there. Hey, I'm back. Victoria. Jay is a focus puller and a first camera assistant, and he's fantastic. Uh, the actors move, everybody moves, so the focus pulling is a very, very precise, stressful kind of deal. The first assistant director, who does the schedule, figures out the logistics, is a really smart guy, aren't you? I'm sometimes smart, not always. Okay. Not cost extra. Here are some actors. Come on in, brother. Okay, guys, we're gonna block. Thank you very much. Which way? Okay. Which way do you want the phone? This way? Yes, yes, like this, like that. I don't know what they're doing. Was it Halloween already? Okay, can you uh, go that way, Mama, for a minute? Let me block. Thank you. Bad time for the chocolate break. <laughs> awesome. All right, shall we start with the door closed? Thank you. The blocking is the okay, blocking, guys. Uh, early Thank rehearsal. Nice and quiet, please. Thank you. Rehearsing and action. Okay. 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 Uh, you don't have to excuse me. It's not exactly yourself. Dad, there's someone here to, to see you. Good. Oh, if you, you can, can yeah, 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 you step back. Wait a minute. Great. Okay. Well, we'll see a really fun look on the other side. That's sweet. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's dog the last time. Okay, here we go. You got that. Keep it up okay. that way. Are we going to the go downstairs? Going downstairs? Okay, we're going to set up downstairs. Thank you for your patience, guys. Oh, it was awesome. How awesome was watching that? That is awesome. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I'll go okay. back on my computer. Okay, yeah, the computer will probably be the. <clears throat> okay oh guys if you have questions put it right now because we have limited time so justin how are you how that was super cool like watching you act that is oh I, oh yeah, I'm, I'm so sorry you had to see that <laughs> no uh, <laughs> um so uh yeah that's i'm glad you guys got to see a little bit of uh a little bit of what we're doing out here it's been a a bit of a wild day. Um, let's see. Okay, we have first question from Lindsay. Um, what advice would you have for hopeful actors? Oh, um, I would say that if you like, if you really want to do it, you uh, it's kind of an all or nothing job, you know, and it, it's uh, it, it it's good it's there's tough moments of it and there's moments of rejection and moments of uh you know wondering when the next job is going to come but it, i i feel like it is a uh like with any with any career but it, there's there's a huge level of persistence involved that really helps you know make it and and if it just know that if it's something you really really want to do and and you're sure about that then then there's no reason why you shouldn't be doing it and the work will come how, what tips do you have to finding auditions? Um, I mean, it's it's one of those things that for for me it was different. I mean, for me, I sort of got 
got lucky with meeting an agent and that was just sort of through a level of networking and getting to know people. And so once I, once I met my agent who I've is still my agent today, we've been together uh, since I was 13, 16 years now. So um, he was the one to help me find auditions and, and set that up, but there, there's always open casting calls. And, and I think it's just uh, having that sense of networking and, and figuring out who to meet and ask questions and talk to people. And, and you'll, you know, you'll be guided in the right direction and, and, yeah, with auditioning, it's just you keep doing them until something sticks. Mm -hmm. And OK, another question. What was your first acting job? And do you think that job had any impact on where you are today? Uh, well, I th my first I'm trying to remember, my first actual, I guess, acting job was like a, a school safety video for uh, the TTC in Toronto, the Toronto Transit commission and it was like a, yeah safety video where I, I and that that was just someone came to my school and I was in grade seven or something someone came into my school and and uh uh knew that I liked acting and and asked me to do that so I mean once once that happened I I think it helped my like helped assure me that it was something that I wanted to pursue further so um, from then on, it was, yeah, it was just sort of the persistence I had of, of wanting to make sure that I, I was doing this and by any means necessary and all that, so. What do you love so much about acting? Um, I love the, I love that you're always learning new things. You, you never hit a point in acting where you have figured everything out. Like any job, you're always, you're always learning new things, but there's an excitement in that. There's an excitement in how every day is different. Um, and the stuff that we do here, it's just like every single day is different. Um, and there's new moments. And, and the, the uh, I, I love the, uh, I, I love getting to know people. I've, I've gotten to know some of the best people I know through this, through this profession. Um, and so that, that's a big part of it too. And I know you also direct some of the things you do. Um, someone asked, how can I work towards being one of the ones behind the well, camera? <laughs> well, I actually, you know, I, I haven't I haven't directed anything yet. I, I, I've done some oh. writing and stuff. And um, Sorry. Those are the I, I, I've done some writing and some producing and, and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, producing, not directing. Um, Sorry, English. No, no, that's okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I mean, I would say, um, it's it just falls into the same thing of acting it's it's uh trying trying to meet people who are in the business and ask questions and being on set like being on set is the best way that you can learn anything whether it's behind the camera or um and if you have the opportunity and even just by doing the the short films that you're doing like that is the best way to learn is just the hands-on experience of 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 being on set and seeing how, seeing how, and you're always going to be learning from people that have been doing it and, and can guide you in the right direction. And, um, but I would say, yeah, the biggest, the biggest part of it is just, is the, is the, uh, if you get the opportunity uh, to be on a set, take it because it will, it will definitely, uh, it, you'll learn a lot, like a lot. Mm -hmm. And do you have any red flags to watch out for when looking for work in the industry? What would you say? Any red flags? Um, mm -hmm. It's it's hard to say. I mean, it's I you want you want to make sure the stuff that you're doing, and in terms of of the union and and keeping people, it, you want to make sure that you're you're keeping the, the, the crew and everybody happy. And, and um, you know, if there's anything that sort of, to me in my past experience, uh, things that have stuck out to me is that, you know, someone's like, you know, we're doing this thing, we're gonna work, you know, 24 hours a day with no break, you know, there, you, you wanna make sure that it's a well-oiled machine and done, done the right way. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, I think that's good. Um, and Sarah asks, do you have any tips on coping with nerves? Yeah, a lot of nerves when acting. Uh, 
I, it's, it's an interesting question because, um, I mean, I still get nerves after all this time and I'm still trying to figure out how to cope with them. Um, you know, I find that it depends on the personality you have, but for me, they never really go away. Um, but it, it, the best thing to do is to just sort of breathe, try to breathe through it and, and know that, especially in, in the film business, like if, if you're in front of the camera or even if you're behind the camera, you, you will get another take and, you know, and be, and being okay with, with making, uh, making mistakes. And that, I mean, that's the only way that you're going to move forward is, 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 um, you know, trying not to let those nerves bring you down and, and failing is okay. And failing is the only way forward. And, um, that's sort of all you can do. What was it like for you? Um, the difference between acting as a, a, you know, a young adult, a young child and an adult. Um, I definitely uh, learned a lot more. I mean, as a child, it was sort of, I don't, I, I don't quite know. Um, I mean, the different, you, you definitely know a lot more of just how the business works. You learn, you learn that as you go. And so whatever things, I mean, when, it, when I was a kid and I was doing it, it was just sort of like, you know, the material and the scenes and, and that was it. And it was just like the awe of being on a set and all that stuff. And, and as you grow older, you start to realize, okay, there's, you know, I've realized that there's years that I am not working or there's years that um, you start to see the grand scale of, of, of how the business works. And it also makes you more aware and better. And it, it teaches you how to sort of navigate your way through it, if that makes sense. It's um, so I've, I've kind of noticed myself that there is a bit of a, uh, you know, an awareness of the, of the bigger picture, I'd, I'd say. Mm. And do you feel like there, there is a difference if you're young, do people take you less seriously? If you're younger, like, what would you advise for people? Because we do have students who are in high school and mm -hmm. I feel like they're kind of, scared that they're not going to be taken more seriously because of their age do you think that it really it, does it matter i don't think it really matters i think it's all about how you carry yourself on set and and if you're professional and and um and show show them that you know you're there to be taken seriously and you're there you're there to work and you're there to um and and you will be um that was one thing that was instilled in me really early on is is the work ethic of of it all and it also just helps you, you know, if, if people, you know, if people know that you're great to work with, they'll, they'll want to work with you. And, and um, so long as you have something to, to show that, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm here to learn and I'm here to work. And, and I mean, we, I would do shows where, yeah, we were kids and, and, you know, there's, there's that aspect too, but, but when it's, um, when it comes down to the work itself, it, it is very, um, people yeah they'll know that if you're if you're there for the right reason if you're there to work then there will be a, a, a respect mm -hmm. and i want to ask you how do you put yourself in the character's shoes like how what is your process to really getting into that character um i would say it depends on the character i mean with what we're doing now we, we built it from the ground up and, you know, for me, it started with the glass, like the glasses, that was a big part of the character. And, and, um, and then, but it, it really depends. I mean, sometimes I'll, I'll listen to certain music sometimes like that's always been a big thing for me is, is, uh, music and acting have kind of gone hand in hand. Um, or, you know, the research, you know, if, if there's certain, you know, if you're playing a real person, if you're if you're telling a real a real story, and, and just knowing what you're you're telling and, and all that stuff, I mean, for for what we do on on this show, we you know these characters after a while, we've done it so long that they they sort of they're built around us as well. Like we we bring our own you know instill our own uh, personalities into them a little bit, and that also helps make them authentic and and true. As well, so I feel like it. For for me personally, it's always a case by case basis. Mm 
I don't really have a specific method. Mm -hmm. And would you say, if you, if you don't have a specific method, what about when you have very emotionally charged scenes? What is your, what, how would you do that? Um, I, I, I feel like I've just, I, I just tell myself that I'm just going to kind of go for it. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't really, you know, I've tried in the past to, to get myself into an emotional things and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. I feel that I'm also very uh, sensitive to the distraction of being on a set. So if I have to be zeroed in on something, it's, but it's, but it's certain emotionally charged thing scenes, you just like there, there's moving pieces as well. There's, there's the, um, there's the scene partner that you have. There's the, there's the writing. Sometimes it, it comes more naturally and sometimes it doesn't. And um, yeah, and I, I find that I rely heavily on the person that I'm working with and, and, and relying on hope, the hope that we can just like work on it and workshop it. And if it doesn't work the first time and it probably won't work the first time or sometimes it does, um, I just try to see if I can go for it and just hope for the <laughs> hope for the best. I feel like a lot of it and a lot of my me figuring out is just flying by the seat of my pants. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that. Um, I have a question here for you. Uh, yeah. How similar is Jesse to Justin? More and more similar as we go. Mm. Yeah, I think I tried to go with a certain type of character, um, but that they, they've sort of after. I mean, we've been doing this for we're almost we're well into our fourth season now. We're almost finished our fourth season, and when you do it for enough time, I feel. I feel like I've just instilled a bunch of my own personality into it, but ha have kept certain specific quirks about Jesse that I know that are sort of my tether to that character. And, and you know, whether it's the way that, um, you know, the, the way that he looks at someone with his glasses or like the glasses have been a really good tool for me to like, that's something that I've held on to. And it's like, that's what Jesse, you know, uses. He has these glasses. Um, and so I've been able to use that as like, once the glasses are on, that's, you know, that's a big part of it. Awesome. Um, uh, okay. Oh, we have a question here from Sarah. What's the best way to put yourself out there? How would you recommend them do that? Oh, um, I would say if there is a class, um, take the class. If there is a just try to try to uh, try to embrace any opportunity that comes your way and seek it out um, because you have to you have to go searching for it. Like when I started, the reason why I was able to get an agent was because I was able to sign up for a class and that like a film class. And then I met someone at the film class that was holding audition classes. And then the audition class, the teacher there had the same agent and it, it did work that way for me. But if I hadn't if I hadn't approached uh the class and saying i'm gonna try it and see what happens then it wouldn't have happened um or it wouldn't have happened as easily i mean i think you just have to be open to um knowing that it might not come right away it might take some time but you in order for it to come at all you have to you have to put yourself out there and you have to um you have you have to chase certain things mm -hmm. And I have another question for you. What is the hardest thing about working in television? I, uh, I mean, I would say the the hours, but I mean, I'm also of the of the group that every time I get to set, there's someone there before me, and every time I leave set, there's someone there later than me. So that puts it into a big perspective of, you know. For some people that our hours are a lot tougher than for someone like me like i can have days where i come in and have a scene or two and and that's it um and uh you know it, there is also depending on what the show is we we on hudson and rex we have you know a good we we follow a certain formula right so it's like every episode we tackle that that episode and what happens in that specific episode but we've i've done shows where a, a six episode series where you're filming you're filming a scene from the sixth episode 
and you have to know where your character's been and you have to know you have to know that full arc and it's not like a film where you you know your 90 to 110 pages of the script is like that's your that's your journey you know you're looking at a stretch of episodes where you followed this old character arc so that could be a tough thing too it's a lot of just keeping up with that and keeping up with where where you were before and where you're going to be after and and knowing the timeline of it all Mm -hmm. and we have another question here for you is it is it difficult to make a living in the film industry more specifically the videographers do you have anything to to add i mean it it can be i yeah it's it's um I mean, the, I, I've always kind of said that the, you know, the work is when you're not, you know, for, for the acting perspective. And I, I can't, unfortunately, speak for the, the videography um, aspect of it, but um, I have fr- good friends of mine that are, you know, directors and, and cinematographers who, um, yeah, I mean, it, there, it's a lot of work on the day, but there's a, there is also a joy in that, a joy in creating. And, and sometimes the work is trying to get the work and trying to, you know, the time off. For me, it's always been, yeah, the str- you know, the struggle to try to drive to auditions and and um, try to, trying to get work and then getting rejected. It's like there, you know, that takes its toll. And then the vacation is sort of when you have the work and you're you're you know you're one of the lucky ones. Um, but it is it it can be tough. It can be tough, and it's different for everybody. And and it is it does demand a lot out of you. So that's that's what sort of falls back in my first point of like you have to know that you really want to do it because it, you, you you can't you can't go halfway with it you ha- you know that's your you have to sort of give it your all and and there are sacrifices um, but you have to really know that you want to that you want to do it. Awesome. So thank you so much, Justin, for being with us this half hour. Oh, my pleasure. Um, any, any last comments to our students that are gonna. Do their own films very uh, short. Good luck. Short. I can't wait to uh, I can't wait to see them. And it's awesome. It's go have fun, go create, go uh, go make some movies. It's it's one of the best things. Awesome. Yeah, all the best to you guys. I'm wishing you all the all the luck in the world. Thank you so much. And Take care. we'll see you. Sounds good. Okay. All right. Bye, Justin.